Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today we are here Woo! We are here to do an anti-haul. Now, let's go ahead and discuss kind of what this means. So, basically, I'm going to be hopping on to trend mood, and I have some opinions about some things that have been released lately, and uh, it's time for us to just kind of talk about my opinions, what I think, and of course for you guys to sound off in the comments. Now, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to start this video in any different a way than to start off by saying I, of course, saw this little teaser because who else would release a new product already other than ABH? Of course, it doesn't show what the product is. It's just a display, and it has, like, Norvina 1 two and three those giant collection things hello beautiful people editing page here um in all my <laughs> top not glory so real quick just so you guys know um obviously this has been released i think they released this literally the day after i uh, filmed this video so uh it doesn't change anything that i think but just so you guys know i did see it i'll go ahead and pop that photo up on the next screen there are two little mini palettes and like yawn honestly um but just so you guys know I saw it. It's happening, and it's, it, it is what it is. Also, while we're here and we're talking editing, um, you girl's been trying to deal with this whole, like, color situation, and thank you guys so much for all the positivity in yesterday's video. I'm still working through it. It's a process, but, like, just bear with me because this video, it goes in and out a little bit. I think it was the sun or something coming in. I'm not really sure. Um, So thank God this isn't, like, an application video. So just bear with me. I'm still working on it and just you know back to the show back to the back to that anti-haul girl and i got lots of anti-haul and it's happening it's happening today and in the center it looks like there's these two items that are blocked out and it says on trend mood like oh could they be mini palettes and i'm already here to tell you no and let me say it louder for the people in the back no what no 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 period there's a period after my no stop just stop Stop what you're doing and stop releasing stuff. Oh my God. Like, I don't even need to spend time here, guys. I have been, oh my, like, if, uh, if you have not seen, like, I don't know, any of my other anti-hauls or my purchaser pass videos, I'll go ahead and I'll link the most recent one up here. But guys, you've heard me talk about this, so I'm not just going to keep, like, beating this horse over and over and over again. Like, girl, she's already dead and laid to rest. But wow, we need to stop with this ABH. Like, this is ridiculous. No, I'm not even, I don't even know what it looks like. And I'm not interested because that, you've just turned me off. Oh, you've turned me off and I can't. So no, it's just real quick. It's it's simple. It's easy. We don't need to talk about it. No, no is the answer. No, 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 period. No, period. All right. Now, next up, this one was actually difficult for me. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And I really, really loved the color story in this. I loved that it had these beautiful, like, couple rows of neutrals, but it had, like, some brown neutrals, pink neutrals. It had a lot of metallics going on. Very nice, shiny. The mattes look really beautiful. What I really love most about that was how they chose to complement those colors with the brighter ones. For me, going into this palette, the only reason that I didn't pick it up is because I felt like I did just do a review on those little, um, the nude ones from Huda, which I can link up here. I picked up all three of the nude, um, nine pans that she released. And one of those um, nine pan palettes, the deepest one, it arrived broken and I have sent customer service now two emails and I haven't heard anything back. So for me, that was one of the reasons I didn't pick this up because I was just a little bit like, like, I can't really trust you if you're not going to reply to any of my emails, number one. Number two, I just decided um, that, and I might make a full video on this just so you guys know it, um, but things are kind of changing, I feel like, in the beauty community and in the like this realm in general, and I didn't pick it up because I know there's already going to be so many other reviews. You guys can let me know down below if you want me to kind of talk about like what I'm saying right now and kind of expound on that, but as far as me and this palette, it wasn't an issue with like the colors or the selection or anything. Um, I can't really speak to the packaging. I know a a couple people have said it looked cheap, but I haven't obviously seen it in person, so I can't speak to that. Um, but I thought like the overall aesthetic of it was beautiful. It's just, it's a no for me because I can't, <laughs> I can't really trust that you're actually going to reply to me if I have a problem. So that's a no for me, dog. That's a no. Oh my God, you guys, this one made me laugh so hard. Oh my God. This was Oh, this was so comical. Okay, so this is from Becca, and it's their Summer 2019 collection. Let that sink in. Their Summer 2019 collection, okay? And I saw this, and I was like, wait a second. Like, I'm not, like, like that smart, okay? But didn't that already happen? <laughs> like, didn't, didn't, last time I checked, okay, I was like, we're in fall, and I'm pretty sure Summer 2019 came before fall 2019, and I was like, 
uh, what? So then I went down into the comments on this post and somebody else had wrote summer 2019 with a question mark and the reply back was basically, yeah, this has already been released in other places. I think it was in Europe, wasn't it? Hold on, I'm gonna go look. Yes, okay, so I found the comments and it says it was available in summer for travel retail locations. I'm not exactly sure what that means because it says United States is on this list. I never saw it personally, but maybe it just wasn't available around me, but it has US, Korea, Denmark, France, Turkey, United of Arab Emirates and Guam and now it's finally online so I guess this is technically like an online release but for me I look at that and I'm just like this shouldn't be any release <laughs> like I I'm sorry I think that this color story I, I understand like I just said I love neutrals and I'm so into that right now and that's great and everything but this palette for me it borders on arguably one of the most boring things I've ever seen like it looks like you're taking one shade and it's like a light pink pearl shade and you're like here's what we're gonna do okay guys get ready we're gonna take this one color and we're just gonna add like one drop of food coloring and make another shade and then we're gonna take that we're gonna add another color boop and then we're gonna do and it's just like it's a, what is it like 12 of those and I'm just like why there's no depth or dimension like to me if you have a um like more of a natural-esque palette of any kind whether it's like pinks or like brown nudes or whatever i don't care but have some level of like depth and dimension and this one just is not it and even like i look at it and i'm thinking to myself like even if it was released in summer and i'm looking at this like during my glowy summer bronzy kind of well <laughs> Hold on back up back up. None of those are me during the summer. I'm not glowy nor bronzer I glow like a vampire glows because they're like what white see-through um, that that's not my journey um, But uh, even if I was like one of those beautiful people that like had the sparkles and the glitter and the bronzy lives that they live Which I can, clearly can't relate to but even then I look at this and I'm just like I am so bored No, I don't I, you can tell me what you think but you're looking at it on the screen go. I think that I Don't get this color story I, on so many levels. There's literally nothing interesting about it to me, and I just, I, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I, maybe it's a personal thing. I don't like it. All right, so this next one is interesting because th these are the little mini, like, Urban Decay on the run, like, mini palettes. They have eight shades of peats. Obviously, you're looking at them. One of them is a little bit more neutral. The other one has, um, like, pops of green in there and, like, a little gold moment. It's a little bit more flavorful than the other one. Um, and for me, these are beautiful. I love the colors. I love the aesthetic. Now, I won't pick them up because I I already have the on the run palette or born to run palette from urban decay and that palette if you ever see it on sale or if you were curious is it really that good yes it really is that good like I think if you have that palette I don't think that you need these because I think they're just the compliments to it like they're very very similar in tone and undertone but for me the quality of the urban decay born to run palette is just amazing it was so blendable the color story is so great you could literally do I mean like a bajillion looks with that palette and everything about it was just on point and so for me it kind of felt like a ripoff of something that was so so beautiful and I don't know if I'm the only one that felt that way but like the born to run was just so so good and I wouldn't pick these up a because I have that so I have something similar but also because I feel like I don't know going into it if it's the same formula like is this gonna live up to the hype and the beauty that was the original for me that would be the concern because I'd be straight pissed like I mean I would be straight irate girl you know what I'm saying if I pick these up and all the sudden I was like wow this formula um it sucks compared to the original like I would be devastated so for me I won't pick them up I don't need them and I'm just like eh, like I'm a little leery um you know my personal opinion they look pretty but I'm just like no no not into it so another thing I'm not into and I don't think I've ever talked about this before but these are the little KKW body cover up -y, glowy things and for me these when I look at them like I understand the concept right like I can see where they would come in handy but I look at this and this all goes back to something I've talked about before and you guys can tell me down below if I'm the only one but sir you better be quiet I'm about to get hated before I was rudely interrupted I want to know when I look at something like this the only thing I think about is that I have arm hair and I know I talked about this before and I've asked you guys like do, do, am I the only one that does not shave her arms like I feel and I asked this before and a ton of you in the comments were like um no I don't shave my arms and then some of you were like well I don't like the length of it or I don't like the color or what have you so some of you do shave your arm hairs okay I don't and I do not understand like when I look at this product uh, and by the way this is no shade you do you don't whatever but because I don't I have hair here so when I look at this like Kim Kardashian she's always 
always testing it on her arm. And all I think in my head here, like, you know, logic, is how is that gonna look with all my damn hairs boop, boop, up out of this goopy? And I just feel like there is nothing you can do that's not, this is gonna look weird. It's gonna look like you just took body paint and smeared it over hair. And I just don't. Take your wall, okay? Take a wall right now. If you even have a fuzzy little piece of lint on that wall when you go to paint it, what happens? It looks nasty, right? So in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, logically, how are you gonna put this over arm hair? Okay, well, fine. Maybe you want it for your legs. Well, then my legs aren't gonna match my damn arms if I go in and I have this really pretty little body leg paint going on. And what am I wearing? A friggin' turtleneck up to my damn face and down to my hands? Like, and then with some gloves on? Like, nothing, nothing on me is gonna match if I can't use it on my hairy arms. So I don't, like, I just, I don't, I don't understand. And I don't know if it's just me. Again, you guys can tell me down below if I'm like, uh, a little bit, but I just don't understand, like, the practicality of it. I understand why you would need it, especially if you had, like, um, some sort of discoloration or maybe you had rosacea or something, um, or even, like, birthmarks or freckles or anything that you wanted to cover up. Like, I understand the concept of it, and I think it's a good concept, but whenever I see it, all I can think about is my damn arm hairs, and I guess, I guess really more than anything here, what I'm roasting is my arm hair <laughs> because I just, I don't get it, and I understand too that with this launch and the only reason it was even on trend mode is because she did a shade extension which I am all for I actually really love that because I did see a bunch of people talking whether they were on the light spectrum or on the deeper side of the spectrum I heard a lot of people say that um they it wasn't super inclusive like for both sides so I am really really happy to see that that part of it was expanded that's really cool um but I just can't get past my arm hairs like I just can't, I just can't get past it plus then then the other thing that really bothers me like if we're gonna go we might as well just go there guys Guys, I get real annoyed with KKW because every freaking time I try to shop them, girl, it's out of stock. You release something and poof, it sells out and you're just like shocked every time. You are like a bajillionaire. Like I don't understand how there's not more product available. I just don't get it. Like other smaller brands understand better than you do that it's important to have enough in stock for everyone to just be able to shop it. I just feel like no matter what I do, like there are times that I go to purchase from this brand. They release something. And I'm like, yes, I want that. And I will be there within minutes of it launching and it's already selling out. And then they take it. Ooh, they take it out of my cart. You want to really piss me off, girl? Take it out of my cart. Take it out of my cart, girl. I will. Ooh, I'm gonna fight you. You take that out of my cart. It makes me so angry. It isn't like add to cart, add to cart, and then like an hour later I'm checking out. We're talking like add it to my cart, go over here, select my shade, add it to my cart. And by the time I get to my cart after adding two items in uh, my shade, I get there and the one, the first one that I added is gone. And I'm like, no, like you need to, could you, could you maybe just like, I don't know, leave it there for like a second so I could grab my other stuff. Not to mention, you know, this girl, she doesn't do like free shipping or like discounts or whatever. Ugh, it's just, it annoys me on a lot of levels. So moral of my story is uh, no on this and I don't get it and hairy arms and I just like, there's, <laughs> there's so many things so many things and no as you see what is happening with my hair like i don't know what the what this thing is right here but i feel like i belong a part of the hansons boy band like hi put me on tambourine like i'm ready to go with my little boy band hair flip Ugh. all right so then this one we have this inglot and power puff and but can i just say real quick am i the only one that thought it was called powder puff all these years i thought they were the powder puff girls and they're not i was recently informed it is power puff girl why you gotta lie to me? I'm 30 years old and now all of a sudden it's Powerpuff? Is this one of them like doo-doo-doo-doo Shane Dawson things where it's like not what I thought it was my whole life? Like what is that one? Um, Bernstein Bears or Berenstein Bears or whatever? Like I feel like it's one of those where I thought it was Powder Puff my whole life and now all of a sudden everything says Powerpuff and I'm like it was not Powerpuff. There's Powder Puff football maybe. Maybe that's what I was. No, I thought it was the Powder Puff girls but I digress. I just maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know but it's Powerpuff apparently. Okay. But they are doing a collab with Inglot, and I... <sighs> Guys, I understand sometimes you want to do a collab, okay? I get it. I get it. But, like, this, to me... Mm. This just isn't it. Like, this is nothing... <sighs> dare I say, this is nothing that's needed. Now, granted, I was not a big power puff, okay? Um, I wasn't a big fan of them. Like, I... I get them. I know roughly what they're about, but I was never like, oh yeah, let me sit down and watch them. I can't wait. Like that, that wasn't my life. Um, so maybe it's just that I have like a disconnect between the collab person. I'm not sure. Or the collab name recognition, whatever. Um, but for me, I look at this and I'm like, when I think of Inglot, I think like high quality. I think of something that's like, wow, like prestigious, expensive. It's going to be really, really good. First of all, first of all, okay, this cheap plastic freaking makeup bag 
Oh. I have had... I, huh. I have had it up to, like, I don't know, the ceiling and back down again with these cheap freaking makeup bags. Quit putting makeup bags in my stuff. These are so freaking crappy. All they do, hear me, all they do is go in a landfill. We don't need you to make us any more of these cheap, awful plastic bags. I know that, like, some people might use them, and that's great. And some people, no, they're not neat. Literally, every time Alta gives away, like, a free gift with purchase, it comes in these cheap, freaking clear, weird plastic makeup bags. Landfill. Every time these people give away stuff, it's always a cheap bag. Landfill. Like, either, either do something good, do it right, and give us, like, a quality makeup bag that will actually get used. Like, make it have value. And yeah, I know, because then it's not cheap for you to make. But guess what? It's also not going to be cheap when this planet, like, I don't know, blows up here in, like, the next 20 years. So maybe you should be just a tiny, just a little bit more conscious about what you're sending to people because I don't know about you guys but I think I have saved maybe and I am like maybe on this one four or five makeup bags in the last two and a half three years of me like doing makeup being into makeup ordering a ton of makeup and I just all I can think about like because I'll take them and like if I have people in my life that want one or if my mom was traveling I'd be like hey because they're good for travel and stuff like that but ultimately they're not good quality they're not going to hold up and they're freaking plastic like they are just not necessary and I saw that that was like I literally all of what you just saw was what flooded to my mind when I saw this collection. Not to mention, not to mention, you want to try looking cheap, girl. Put that bag in there. Put it in there. It looks so cheap. Oh, I don't know. It's just, maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know down below. I know that some people, again, really like those little clear plastic makeup bags and whatever. And that's totally fine if that's your thing. I just, I, for me... All I think about is that you are sending them to people, and I would say, even if I'm being generous, like, 85 to 90% of people don't care, don't need it, wouldn't choose it, like, one way or the other, and I just, I look at it, and all I see is waste, and it drives me nuts. Now, looking past that, I do see that they have, like, a different, like, eyeshadow palette, I'm assuming, for each one of the girls, and looking at those, the color stories don't really, like, send me or speak to me. You can only see three of the shades, but they don't really send me. Um, the lips, same thing. Like, I think everything has a cute, like, packaging aesthetic to it but it's nothing that I'm just like oh wow I need to get that like it just doesn't it doesn't do it to me and speaking of do you know what else does not do anything for me girl doesn't do anything for me is this stupid oh my god it makes me so mad these little EOS it's called the EOS vampire kiss ball and it's one of these things I'm not even picking on EOS this isn't even just about this product just like brings it out in me when you make something that starts off as it's like those color changing blushes or a color changing lipstick or whatever and it turns pink. They are so dumb. <laughs> like, why don't... Why? Why do you need... Why do you need this? I understand you're, like, trying to play into this, like, Halloween aesthetic or whatever. I thought, though, my parents were looking at me. They're not even here. And I was like, girl, no, thank you. But it's just... There's nobody there. It's probably just, like, the ghost of Eos haunting me right now. But I'm just like, I do not understand why. Why? Why is it like, again, I understand what you're trying to play into here, but no, I hate things that start off like that because there's always that like black or blue or whatever it is, that cast is always there. Those color changing blushes, every single one of them from the high end down to the wet and wild one that they made like, what was it, a year-ish ago at this point? Part of their like roses collection. I think it was their Halloween last year or whatever. And those did the same thing. The moral of it is that anything that has that will almost always leave a weird, dark undertone cast or something like that. And there's just no need. Like, you could have just made something with a cooler packaging or a cooler component to it or made it like a red-toned balm or something. Like, you could have done something else that would have not been, like, so blatantly just like, ooh, like I, oh. Hey guys, I just really don't like stuff like that. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to get heated about it or anything. I just don't like it. I'm just... That's just really it. I just don't like it. All right, beautiful people. So this is going to be the last item, and I'm throwing it in here because a lot of you have asked me about it, and a lot of people have talked about it. It's already available, but I just wanted to give you my my parting thoughts and opinions on it, if you will. And that is the Too Faced and Madonna collab. This is so stupid. <laughs> like, I... Oh, my God. I look at this, and it makes me so angry i think that this collab this like whatever this does not say madonna to me in any way and i understand like all right before y'all like the haters come out of the woodwork and they're like but madonna okay calm down all right i'm i'm 30 okay i know very well who madonna is i know what is up with this but i 
look at Madonna and I know that she does have that like simplistic idea behind her makeup and like it is a very um I don't want to say very but aspects of her makeup have been like more natural-esque and they have had like the the smoky factor to them that bronzy smoke maybe a little bit of black smoke a little bit of like a pinky kind of sheen smoke to her makeup and I totally understand that and I get like the like a virgin vibe with this lighter tone palette that has this really nice flush subtle pink to it and then with the other one that has like this more subdued but like brown neutral smoky eye okay I understand and I'm sorry guys but just real quick to dash that entire fantasy for you that is not what you collab with Madonna on when you are collabing with Madonna you are collabing with someone who literally made nothing but waves and strides in the music industry for women Madonna was here to literally free women from all of those feelings and tell you to release all of those inhibitions and be someone who could be whatever she wanted if you wanted to be that woman that was subdued and more um, calm and you wanted to wear the long dresses and, and wear your hair a certain way and and be what society was like telling you to be that was fine but Madonna was here to tell women that were different hey you can be whatever you want to be you can wear your hair you can be sexy it's okay to show sexuality because it is okay because you're a human being and that is what Madonna exemplifies and I think the reason that so many people including myself get so heated about this is because that's the Madonna that we know we know the Madonna that isn't just a placard and and she's known for what subtle makeup if you think Madonna and you think of these palettes right here and these are the colors that you think of for Madonna we know two very different Madonnas because I grew up listening to her and watching my mother dance to her and watching women everywhere light up when they saw a woman that embraced the most fun aspects of who they wanted to be you guys real quick so my parents just did get home scared the absolute bejesus out of me um so you might it might sound a little different here for a second because I shut the door but um for me when it comes down to this Madonna thing and I think about like why does it get me so heated I remember being a little girl like say five years old okay that's 25 years ago and currently in 2019 we've come a long way with women and being able to embrace who you are and be what you want to be and 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 be overtly sexual if that's what you want to be but when I was five years old that wasn't a thing and 20 years before that it really wasn't a thing and this palette and this story and these colors it just doesn't exemplify everything that she is and it doesn't do justice to the woman that she was and and everything that she fought for for men for women for whatever it just doesn't it just doesn't do it it doesn't cut it for me and I think that's why a lot of people are so shocked and really disheartened by it because it comes off like she basically just signed a paper and they got to use her likeness to create whatever they felt like and it seems like a cash grab because it is and I don't know for me I, I expected more and I would think that from someone who meant so much to so many people I would think that she would want to be more and don't get me wrong I don't know if she was involved in this process or not but just from the looks of it it just looks like not a lot of anything and it's really really disheartening but all right you guys that is it for today's video i'm gonna leave you with that little steaming thought um let me know what you think though of the video do you, what do you think of the products that i talked about in today's video and if there's ever a type of video like this that you would want to say i just said video 32 times in five seconds wow um but if there's ever anything content related like this that you'd like to see let me know that down below as well because i love hearing from you guys i love getting feedback so on and so forth so leave that in the comments um if you haven't checked me out on instagram and on twitter they are both linked in the description description and of course most importantly of all if you have not done so please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel hello hi I upload five videos a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan but you guys that is it thank you all so so much for watching please do not forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye I like to oat oat Oat, opals and french fries <laughs> another thing i'm not into and i don't think i've never talked what <laughs> back when i was 10 years old 20 years ago there are so many aspects about madonna ah! 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 touched for the very first time right, i'm gonna shut the store though okay I thought you had french fries. what you brought me hot french fries hold on now hold on now door can stay open for just like one more second <laughs>